A man knowing his heart and his mind, that that is the one. It took a, a whole lot to rebuild our marriage. We didn't have anywhere to live. Me and mommy separated, guys. Like, how does it feel knowing that Marco is not your real dad, but... Don't let him lie to you. Black is beautiful. They want to take your soul. Black is beautiful. How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Y'all already know today it's, it's going, going down, down in a major way. way. If you guys haven't already, make sure you like, like comment, me. and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bells. <laughs> A part of the fastest growing family on YouTube. Hey! hey. Fastest growing family on YouTube. YouTube. Let's get it, guys, and don't forget to comment down below. Early, early gang, 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 gang. If you guys want to be a part of the post notification early gang squad. Woo -hoo. Welcome back to our anniversary series part two. Part two, baby. Let's get into it right now. Yes, yeah, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Lots of you guys know that we left off with our story. If you guys haven't watched that video, you guys need to watch it. They go said we were set now. up to fail, but we didn't. didn't. Make sure you guys go check that one out. But today, what we're gonna be talking to you guys about is how he said I do, and I said me too. And exactly. now, the world is ours. So, let's go ahead and talk about that, babe. And we have Braylon here with us today, Yes, we guys. got the furball Hi, right guys. here, guys. So, Braylon is such a big part of this story, guys, because at the beginning of the Beverly Halls, there was only Brooke, Marco, and Braylon. I was a single mother for about, so about uh, yeah, four 20. years until yeah. Marco and I officially started dating. Now, yes. Marco and I had previously yes, met. Yes, we previously met, guys. Uh, me and Brooke was talking until I found out her age, actually. Yes. Because whenever Marco and I first met each other, I was 17. Yeah, I believe so. 17. 17 and he was 26. Yeah. So it was yeah. kind of like, eh, we didn't want to toy around with it. So we kind of just left that alone or whatever. You know, when love is supposed to come back, it comes back. Yes, it came back in circle and I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. When we met, I seen Braylon. Braylon was just a baby. I seen Braylon and then I found out Rook's age and I was like, oh no, can't talk to her. Yes, yeah, so this is when Braylon was probably about nine months old. Me and his father were not together at the time. His father was actually incarcerated, which I'm, you probably don't really remember that. Me and Braylon were just by ourselves, guys. The first year of having Braylon, I met Marco. And then in 2014, Dang, uh, I was 20 was years old. Braylon was four years old. It was four years later. I was in Vegas. She was in Ohio. You know, I came back to, I came back home. I had a party, right? Marco was having a birthday party. Yes, I was having a birthday party and uh, he ended up back in town. I ended up seeing her on Facebook. I was like, yes. hey, Brooke, how you been? You know, just saying hello. Exactly. Sent her a quick message through Facebook. Yeah. It went from there, right, babe? Yeah, that's kind of how it started. Marco and I started falling, falling in love very quickly. Um, yeah. From February, it only took us about seven months. And I was flying in and out. I was coming from Vegas, coming from Vegas yeah. to Ohio to visit and have my birthday party and come go back to Vegas. But whenever we started falling in love, Marco was in Vegas and I was still in Ohio. Yes, and it was a long distance relationship. Seven God. months, right? Seven months, guys. Yes, it was a grueling long relationship, guys. It was hard. It was very hard. It was already. I'm already three hours behind. You know, so it's three hours behind here and three hours ahead in Ohio. So the time difference was off. It was it was either light here and dark there or dark there and light here. Constantly phone calls, uh, video, whatever we was using. Messaging back. Oh and man, it was too much, man. It was like it was a lot. We would fall asleep on the phone together yeah. every single night for seven months. Yeah. Um, we would I don't know what Braylon was doing at that time. Yeah. I have no Wait, idea. did you say seven months? It was seven years. No, it was no, seven, seven months, months. Oh. when me and mommy was dating before we got married. Yeah, so oh. here's the scoop, guys. Marco, the moment that he went back to Vegas, he was just like, I can't live without you. I love you so much. Yeah. Like, I want you here with me. And I was yeah. like, 
oh, I'm a small town girl. I know I want to be out of here. She's but a scared guy. I have my son and my family that I've grown up around, and like I have a very tight, small knit family. So, like to leave them was like leaving a part of my heart behind. I really did not yeah. want to get so far from them guys yeah. it was really tough so we kind of went back and forth for seven months and then marco was like okay listen my mom's birthday is coming up i'm coming back to come celebrate my mom's birthday and yeah. when i get back either you're coming with me to vegas or you're not or when or we or we can't do this guys yeah i was, was like i was it. like is either you come back to vegas or I can't do this relationship no more. And we only Period. we only seen each other one time in between that, which was for my birthday in yes, April. Yes, because so. she came to Vegas to visit and she loved it. Loved and it. she didn't want to leave, so and I didn't want her to leave. Of course, that I was like, if I come back here, crawl all the way, crawl all the way over here, <laughs> guys. Katie can crawl now. Yes, Katie can crawl. He came way from back there on the floor oh, to up here, God. guys. <laughs> Marco and I were getting very weary with this seven month long distance relationship. Yes, guys, like I said, it was gonna be quits. I did not wanna do no more long distance. I was ready to just move on with my life and get rid of it. Like, I was like, sit long, seven months long distance. I'm like, I can't keep doing this, guys. And it was too much. I know. And same with me, guys. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna really know if this man is the one for me or not because. There's no way I'm gonna be moving to Las Vegas for a boyfriend and I have a whole child. Like, if this man doesn't wanna marry me and really take me seriously as his wife, then there's really no reason for me to get up and move my whole family across the world, across the United States of America, away from everything we knew. Yes. You know what I mean? So, when Marco came back, he surprised me. Yes. And it's not like I like threw him off guard, so I came like, back. he knew. Yeah, we knew, because heavily... we was talking about marriage and all this that and third and so yes. with that being said i said forget it i'm gonna come back to ohio and uh we're gonna get married she didn't believe me i didn't believe him <laughs> she thought i, I was no, BSing. I'm like he is joking because when a man know a man know a man know when to get married a man know when that is the wife when that's his wife a man know in his heart and his mind that that is the one i knew she was the one the moment i came back to her i said yeah i gotta marry her it's either it's either now or never it was crazy it kind of caught everybody off guard guys like nobody really knew that we were gonna get married except for our moms, our brothers and sisters, yeah. Braylon, like it was really a secret wedding. We ended up getting married in a garden and it was very last minute. Yes, it was an elopement, guys. It was basically an elopement. Mm -hmm. Something just to get us going, guys, to get us going because I wanted my wife to be with me and I wanted to start this life that we got going right now. Yes, exactly. He's seen the vision of far long long time ago i've been seeing than this i've vision. ever seen it i really yeah. have always kind of had doubts about everything i'll be honest with you it was marco really that like put the passion inside of me because all i could ever really envision was what i saw and what i was raised around and what i grew up but marco had so much more vision because he had been you know to florida and georgia and everywhere and he's been around a lot of like high profile individuals and he'd been exposed to a lot more life than i had yeah. versus all i've seen is what i explained to you guys in the last video i didn't really have as much hope and belief as marco did you know i always believed the best of life but i never knew that like you could really change your life we got through that guys i was there what how long was i there in ohio like a week like a week or so, a week and a half maybe. We got married and that next day after we got married, guys, we shot straight to Ohio. We drove all, I mean, we shot straight to Vegas. We drove all the way to Vegas, non-stop. I drove non-stop. It was just me, Brooke, and Braylon. Yep, I was in the back seat. Braylon was in the back seat. I was sleeping. In the <laughs> With a Spider-Man I remember like yesterday, huh? Isn't that crazy, remember guys? Spider-Man? Braylon was in diapers still, almost. Braylon mm -hmm. was still in pull-up diapers. Yes, pull-ups. Um, you know, he was like, was he four or five? Braylon was four. August 8th is our anniversary when we got married. 
Braylon was turning five years old yeah. and Braylon yeah, went to school. Yeah, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 2014 we make him five. Yes. Yeah, we drove all the way across non-stop, two and a half days guys, we drove. I drove, non -stop. she didn't drive. Yeah. We didn't get a hotel or yes. nothing. Yes, a hotel no, or nothing guys. It was cold, it was snow, we it was all type of stuff. We were going through the mountains, do yes. you remember that Braylon? Yeah, we were going through every single, we were going through the whole United States to Las Vegas and we were in Ohio and then we drove all the way to Las Vegas in a car. I did actually know what was going on I was happy going to Las Vegas because I knew that we were gonna have a big strong family and whenever we were in Las Vegas we were trying to get our whole family to go with us we, they were we were trying to get our whole family to be in Las Vegas so we can have a whole reunited family in Las Vegas because mom really wanted her family yeah, with her. yeah. do you remember how long it took though yeah. to get our family here it mm -hmm. took very, very long, guys. Do you remember the first place we stayed when we came to Vegas? Hooters. Oh he God. remember. <laughs> I remember that. We were in Las Vegas, and then I, I woke up, and then I saw a whole bunch of palm trees everywhere. I was looking out the window, and Dad was like, Hey, son, do you see the palm trees? And I was like, yeah, I can see the palm trees. And I was like so happy. I was like, wow, Ohio is so different. And then I was like, Wow, this is crazy. Las Vegas is way better. I'm looking out right now, it's so much way better. And whenever I looked out at that age, Mark Cannon was born and raised in uh, Las Vegas, but that was, a, that was a dream for me. Do you know, like, do you, yeah. so you remember the drastic difference from living in Ohio to yeah. moving to Las Vegas, huh? Yes, it's yeah, a it big difference. Yeah, it was very dark and gloomy in Ohio, and in Las Vegas, whenever you wake up, it, like you can get to business and do your work and I love it. <laughs> Got a little hustle. Yeah. yeah. We didn't have anywhere to live. Yes, we had no. nowhere to live when we came to Vegas, guys. Pretty much. It was a very like it was a very like like mm, shaky situation. Like we was living in a we was just banking, like it was we all guy. Hoping. It was just hoping something opened up apartments or whatever you know we was yeah. just hoping something opened up man all we have was love our clothes yeah, and some I, desires yeah i know right I know, hoping that some opened up and then we was looking for apartments finally some opened up because we stayed at the hotel for like five days five days we five had five days, days. and really? mind you we were on the littlest budget ever littlest oh, budget ever like i guy. think we probably had like a few grand baby yeah probably like i think a few we maybe grand. had no more than twenty five hundred dollars yes total maybe really? three thousand at the most maybe three thousand at the most to yes. literally get across the country yes be in a hotel and get, and an, get apartment. an apartment yes. and hope to get a job in enough time that you'll yes, be able to pay to the next month's rent exactly and guys. all your bills right we stayed in hooters five days on the fifth day we got the call that we could come and get the keys to a condo that we found we knew it was god guys we knew it was just all prayers and god it was all god guys on the fifth day they're like hey you can come get your keys on the third day i got called for a job and not only did i get called for a job guys for instance in ohio i was taking care of 52 people on two floors when i moved to vegas this is how good god is i was working five days a week i got a job i end up making twenty thousand more dollars than i was at my last job and i only had to take care of one person guys wow that's great that one person babe. i was taking care of 52 people on two floors for $16 an hour. They literally hired me in at $23 an hour for one person. Yeah, see that was Three great. days a week. I told you moving here was better anyways. Everything just instantly started falling in line, guys. I promise you when we got in that car, it just felt like chains were falling off of us that we had never felt so heavy before. Like every single state we got further and closer to Las Vegas, it just felt like weights lifted, 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 yes. lifted off. Until finally when we got to Vegas, we just felt free. At least I did. I felt I'm free. I'm glad you felt free. I felt like I was finally as far away that from was all of that trauma. That was, that was what a husband's supposed to do, make his wife feel free. Man. That was the best thing that ever happened to me, guys. I'll be honest with you, was getting married and getting away from the city that tried to literally eat me alive. Pretty much, yeah, that's what happened. We got married and moved to Vegas with no house, no nothing. It kind of reminds me of like that story in the Bible where God took the fish and the bread and he made it enough for everyone to eat. Like he literally took our two, three thousand dollars and made it enough to survive. And then like we had a really nice paycheck, but we lived really, really, small when we first got here remember babe it took us at least 
a year until we got a couch. Marco and I slept on a blow up mattress for like a year. Braylon had a whole bedroom set. Braylon was straight. We ate on the floor, we ate on the couch, like we ate in the kitchen. Yes. We didn't have nothing to eat on until- We was just happy. We Basically, we was happy we had our place, guys. We were just happy we had a home outside yes. of that city and could start a new life with our family. So, a lot of people like are really turned off by the idea of getting married to someone that doesn't have much, but I promise you that if you find someone with a good heart and a good spirit, and you're just like that, you guys can make anything happen together. God blesses a unity, one as one. God blesses that, guys, and that's what we're trying to say. And that's what this music video for August 8th, wait till you guys see it, I promise you. August 8th is the music world premiere, The World Is Ours. The World Is Ours, guys. And the world is yours too, but that's the title of the song, is The World Is Ours. The world is gonna be whatever it is you make it. You know what I mean? Exactly. You know, you have to still be so happy and so grateful in the moments where you have nothing so that God can just come in and bless you with so much more. Tell them about your experiences living here in Vegas these last, six years, six, seven years. Me and my mom, we were with dad at first. Mm -hmm. So whenever Mark Cannon was there, there was a really big thing that separated me and my, my, my mom and my dad. It separated my mom and my dad. Whenever my mom and my dad got separated, me and my mom, we moved to an apartment. They, I think, were in Ohio, was it? Or was it, I'm not sure, I don't remember that. Me and mommy, yeah. me and mommy, me and mommy separated, guys. Mm -hmm. But everybody that don't know, me and mommy, me and my wife separated. Beverly Hall family, me and wifey, we, it wasn't always peaches and cream. First you know? two years of marriage yeah. were really nice. Yes. But eventually the third one was very rough for me, me and wifey. It and was we a very ended up rough. Separating. And we ended up separating, but we didn't get divorced, but we mm -hmm. separated. This was before anything with social media, YouTube, or anything. Yeah. Yes, we separated for a little bit. We got back together. Yeah, so we got back together actually, what would you say, like two and a half, three years ago, babe? Three years ago. About three years it ago. It was three, three, three and some change. So pretty much what Braylon's saying is that when we separated, because think about it, look at all that we had just came from, right? The devil was trying his best to get us to go back and to not have what God destined for our life. He wanted to separate our unit because he was afraid of what would happen if we were together. Yes. The devil knew what was going to happen when we were together, which is what's happening and now. We, and we separated like a year after Mark Cannon was born. So we had yes. Mark Cannon a year before we separated. Yes. So we had yes. Mark Cannon. We ended up separating. Separating. Marco and I were just tired of each other. We could not get along. There was nothing yeah. that we could and and I was still like in the mentality of where I came from and Marco was still kind of in the mentality where he came from and we just weren't like just weren't clicking guys. It's like we needed to be separated to come back together. Like it was, we needed that time apart. And so that's what Braylon's talking about is we got together. We ended up in an apartment. We had a beautiful house. We thought we were doing everything right guys. We had yes. everything together and then bam the devil came in. We went through a really tough pregnancy with Mark Hannon, and a lot of you guys don't know that, but I was very sick. We got down to pennies in the account to where we could barely eat sometimes. Guys, it was so rough. I get really sick when I'm pregnant. Mark Hannon and Marco went to Ohio and me and Braylon stayed in Vegas, right? And so for that's a whole nother story in itself. Like if you guys want us to go over our separation, we can talk about it in another story. Just trying to give you guys a little synopsis that we split up and then we ended up back together. And that's probably a whole series because it took a lot of work to rebuild our marriage. When you it's say that. It took, a, it took a lot. Yeah, it took a, a whole lot to rebuild our marriage, and it was a very tough, tough time. A lot of growing happened in that season, though. I yes. can look at it and, and be like, wow, okay, okay, I know this, I know that. And I'm pretty sure she know this and know that now, because I'm pretty sure she grew in a lot of ways. We, we grew, and we talked about a lot of things, and, you know, we grew in a lot of different ways, and, you know, I'm glad that we went through those things mm -hmm. to, to make us better, our unit better, our family stronger. Now we got this pretty little round head boy right here and we got the other two born cannons upstairs playing a video game so it's just a blessing man like the things you know the things you go through can make you stronger don't believe that if something happened in your marriage that it won't work it's just some things can be a test guys some things can be a, a strong really test big. Uh, uh, but you gotta be stronger than the test that's getting through at you guys. That's all it is. Yeah, so we took some time to grow and now it's game time, bitches. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. And You're now it, trend. <laughs> and now it's game time, you know, and that's what we mean. We were set up to fail, but we didn't. Yep. We were set up to fail, but we didn't. We didn't fail, guys. We didn't fail this family. We didn't fail this marriage. We didn't fail this, fail this life. We didn't fail the Beverly Hall family. Every you guys. test that's been thrown to us, we have aced it, in my opinion. Yes, we, we aced it, guys. We said we're not failing. I don't care. Yes. If I get an F, give it back. I'm going to do it over again, yes, and I'm going to submit over it again, again yes. until I get an A. Like, yes, guys. That's kind of so how we do it. So we've been like. acing all these tests. Can't no test defeat us, guys. Can't no test. We undefeated, guys. We're undefeated. Yeah. But we were set up to fail, but we did it. We got the Beverly Hall family strong right here. Strong. You guys are strong. And the and reason we are why strong you guys are strong you guys. because, guys, honestly, there's nothing that you could say to us that would probably surprise us about you, about yes. your past, about what you're going through. It ain't it ain't nothing new to us, guys. We've had struggles in our marriage. We're not here to like paint this perfect picture to you guys and make you think that we are just this perfect family because the truth of the matter is if there were more individuals taking the time to rebuild their marriage, yes. there would be a lot more healed families and I feel like maybe that's our purpose and our vision and our mission here is to like relate to most of America because yes, a lot of people get it right but what about everybody else that gets it wrong you know what yeah, i mean like exactly. we're here to be the voice for you guys to advocate on your behalf to let you guys know it's possible to let you guys yes. know that and this love is what is this reality. whole series about is just letting you guys in closer on us to, to really let y'all know and get a meaning behind the music video that's coming up midnight August 8th guys It's dropping midnight. August 8th guys midnight the August 8th year guys anniversary. And, and anybody be like that's his step kid yes that's my stepchild but yeah a lot of you guys always say that's that my boy comments. that's my son I say that's my son because I'm raising him I'm taking care of him I feed him I clothe him I love him you know yep. and with that being said He's a Beverly Hall boy. We're you so did? thankful for you. He's a Beverly Hall boy, so you know. Yeah, guys, and we all together, we're the whole Beverly Hall family, and we love you guys, and we hope that you guys appreciate every single last video. And like, like, I, like as we said, guys, you guys have to like, comment, and subscribe to this <laughs> family because it's very serious. Yeah, this music video, guys, is gonna be very crazy. The real premiere. This is gonna be so dope. I can't wait to see it myself too. Maybe we can talk to you a little bit, Braylon, about like how does it feel knowing that Marco is not your yeah. real dad, but he's your dad. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, it feels great that I have my stepdad yeah. because he's been with me since I was like three years old. And I love him so much. And whenever I was about like a little baby like Caden, I, he saw me whenever I was a little baby just like him. Yes, and I did see you. Boy. I love him so much with all my heart, and it would break me to pieces if I never had him. So I, I really love him. My Braylon, man. I love and my I love Braylon. My, mom, my heart. Yes. Guys, you guys just don't know how much it means to me. I don't want to get emotional, but I'm just so thankful that Braylon has Marco as his dad. Um, we do not believe in step around our house. Everyone is full blood. Everyone is family. And I hope that you always know that and you always feel that in your heart. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's Debbie's son. Yep. And Mark Caden's over love here punching me and crouching so and I hurt it so bad. Braylon's such a big helper. He's such yes, a and Braylon's such a big help. I love With being a big brother, brother guys. I, I really love being a big brother. I, Mark Cannon, come here. I didn't know how to be a big brother as soon. Whenever Mark Cannon came, I was very jealous of him. But now, I'm not that. I'm not like it's, that. It's no part more. of life, Brady. It's because you were an yeah. only child, honey. And you used to have mommy and daddy to yourself. Mm -hmm. And then Mark Cannon came and yeah, kind of stole Mark the Cannon spotlight Cannon's. like him. <laughs> You see how Mark Cannon gets around about him now? Yeah. But I love my parents so much. You know, it's called raising raising these boys, man. We're going to see you guys in, in our the next, next video. video. Peace. Peace. I got to come back and marry you. Okay, say no more.